Yo, what's good y'all? It's your boy JP Productions and I'm back with another video for y'all. Today I'm going to be breaking down Devin Booker's jump shot. Yes sir, number 70. So be sure that you're paying attention because you never know, one of these keys might unlock something big for you. I've already done D-Book before, but I decided to do another one anyway. Feel free to check out part 1 on my IGTV on Instagram. And be sure to follow the kid, man, because, you know what I'm saying? I'm JP, man. Give me a follow, man, all right? Booker has a slight tilt with his feet when shooting his jumpers, and that's fine. By having your feet tilted, you allow your elbow to be more aligned towards the basket while helping yourself out by not putting your body under tension. There are many old coaches still out there to this day saying, Square up! But let's face it, man. Look at the best shooters in the world. None of them square up anymore. Times has changed, man. Time to wake up. For those of you who are still learning, there's something called having two jump shots, and D-Book is one out of many who have them. Now let me explain. Our first jump shot will be the normal catch and shoot shots, you know, shooting off the dribble. Then you'll have your second jump shot, which is a player shooting full speed pull-ups and fadeaways. Usually the player's second jump shot will be a two motion shot because when it comes to full speed pull-ups or fadeaways, it is very, very difficult to fade and create space with a one motion shot or run full speed and get into your jump shot with full control. Which is why players like D-Book has two different jumpers. Some of you guys may still be a bit confused, but that's okay. I have a video dedicated just for this topic right here on the screen. Please feel free to watch it and learn something new after this video ends. Lastly, let's get into Devin Booker's release point for his normal jump shot. Yup, as a shooter, you have different release or set points as well. Here's the video, so be sure to check this out as well when this video has ended. Devin has a high release point which is located slightly above his eyebrow. A release point is the point where the ball starts to travel towards the rim. So for Devin, as he's getting into his shot, as soon as the ball gets by his eyebrow, that's when the ball starts to travel towards the rim and out of his hands. D-Book is one of my favorites when it comes to the two spot. And I really feel like he could become a superstar in this league one day. No doubt, he's a great player but the Suns need to add more pieces to the team. And also, he must continue to keep working so he'll be able to shine even more. Hope you guys enjoyed the breakdown. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share because we are the best channel on YouTube. And if you think otherwise, then it's tough. <laughs> nah, but be sure to follow me on my socials as well because I drop more content on there as well. It's your boy JP. Till next time.